Hey guys, we are once again in Steve Beck's Suburban, which he so graciously let me borrow to uh, speed up the port. He decided to go ahead and get himself a comma three. And this is what it looks like. I, uh, I would say that's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, we are not needing to use the comma power because the camera connector is sufficient. And here we are. My hands are off the steering and the gas. Let's see. It's got uh, really excellent uh, lane tracking. I have to take back a statement that I made about the comma three not being that much faster than the comma two I was wrong um not only is the interface more polished uh and everything snappier I mean way snappier the compiling process which normally takes a good half an hour that took a few minutes so I gotta eat crow on that one um this thing is fast and it is nice, and it looks nice. Look at this thing, look at that. All right, I don't know how this adaptive cruise is gonna, oh, oh, oh that is cool. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, this is using the car's adaptive cruise. Um, we actually can't let Open Pilot do the adaptive cruise because we don't have access to radar points, but, really not a huge deal because it works fantastically look at this we haven't even tuned this thing yet <laughs> if you wanted to get a get another nice look at that believe it or not that is level and that is centered um they just uh put the 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 stuff that goes behind the mirror is not centered so it's centered and it's level I am using the stock mount that came with it I didn't have to use the the angled one um, and the, the perspective is it's practically perfect we can't see the hood at all it's got a excellent view of the road ahead everything around it's this is fabulous and it just worked too I just plugged it in and it worked like magic. So, I can't say I have too much more to share. It's very important that you measure side to side on your windshield um, to make sure that you do get it centered. Uh, Uncle Tone, one of the other guys, he's got a, a Tahoe, um, which is it's the same frame, essentially. Um, his uh, his vehicle, he tried to eyeball it, and the calibration just wouldn't work. So, yeah, it's the same code, no changes, and I, it almost works perfect. Uh, it doesn't fingerprint the car correctly when I have the camera attached. Um, I'm sure it's something simple. Probably, oh, you know what it is? It's it's because the, the fingerprint, they, they modified the fingerprinting to, to look at all the buses, essentially. So, ooh, this is a little drifty. Definitely, it, it, it doesn't do well with finding the right tire tracks when you're driving on a snowy road. Um, but that's... That is just inherent to open pilot um, as it currently exists. It's possible the laneless model is better. I haven't messed with it yet, but uh, yeah, I would say that this is pretty cool. And I really like the look of this thing. I gotta say, it is smooth like butter. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.